so it's been a couple weeks since we did this field and I'm currently got the uh, I currently got the big soil finisher on the 9150 and we're doing another another pass of tillage and we're going to be planting here in just a day or two so we're trying to get everything killed we've got a slight chance of rain coming tomorrow mm, not very much I think they said a couple tents couple tents so anyway it shouldn't shouldn't bother too much we'll get this get this broke open and get her dried down a little bit more get these weeds killed and it's uh it's definitely you can tell it hasn't been cultivated <clears throat> for a few days well we've got mostly foxtail popping up you can see we've got some lambs quarters over there There's some bigger weeds that guy out there i'm not sure what he is probably a, a packet of uh itch weed you know the fast growing stuff's definitely coming up you can see it pretty easy you got some giant ragweed out here which these big these big 12 inch shovels on this thing will pretty well wipe all that out get her killed i'm doing my skip passes again so i don't have to turn quite so sharp leaving my end rows to last and uh, this will be one of the first fields i'll be planting it's sitting up there in the shed and that uh that's rye that we seeded last fall that's got hay growing underneath of it so anyway it needs to be mowed too it's it's seeding out so everything's coming together all at once just like normal but anyway we'll get this stuff wiped out and get her smoothed off and then we'll be planting here in a couple days looks pretty cool when you got her stripped like that up my second field the beast down by the house she's a little bit more wet than the other field we just did and it's working up really nice so it's nothing near as, as wet as that farm down south where I almost got stuck nothing even didn't even really spin here it just it's just a little more more wet which is fine it's working up good it's still throwing dust so we'll call this quit for tonight let the comedian take over in the morning if it's not raining otherwise it'll be the next day and we'll go get the planter all cleaned out for tomorrow for the next planting this is gonna go to organic corn right here whoop did we leave a skip ah we left a skip we gotta turn around and get it No, you don't back up. No, it's faster just to turn around. Anyway, no skips. Gotta be a complete, complete coverage. That way we don't have any weeds coming through. So anyway, that'll be it. I will get the uh, planter cleaned out. Get this. Get this. Yeah, that's okay get the stuff cleaned out of the shop so we can get to the seed that's in there and we'll get the uh, planter filled up this will be the organic corn anyway yep we're gaining planting's coming up well here we go got her washed out filled up now we're gonna go down here and hit this bottom where we was working up yesterday the rain that was supposed to come through today is not coming through, so heck yeah, we're going to go plant. So, anyway, yeah, finally going to get our good corn in the ground. There she goes. Pretty slow to unfold. Maybe that's just because it's on a uh, tractor. It doesn't have a whole heck of a lot of 
hydraulic flow and could be it. But if I help her out by just slowly backing up with the tractor, it does help quite a bit. But it goes pretty well. Alright, there's that. Set the tongue down. That locks are in place. get turned around here hey look the marker finally went down how about that yeah she's all the way out all righty we're planting quite up the bar yet because we hadn't really been around the corner 27 still a little bit low I'll speed her up a little bit I don't have a, uh, a mile per hour transducer to plug from the tractor into this so I just have that set at a fixed speed so if I'm going a little slow or a little fast it's gonna say it's planting a little goofy but anyway just gotta remember what speed to run and away you go and away there we go Try to get her right up close to the rye, but not in the rye, I guess. That's pretty close. You know, there's supposed to be alfalfa in there, and I can't see any from out here where I'm at. Of course, you can't see it at all from the camera, but I haven't really seen a heck of a lot in there. I don't know if that's, uh, if that's the way it is or if we're missing some stuff in there. I, I hope it's coming. God dang, this stuff costs a lot of money to do it twice. Hey look, the marker's still working. <laughs> How about that? Anybody watching this, do you have any recommendations on what kind of drone works best to uh, to fly over top while I'm you know while I'm down here driving? What kind of drone would work best for that to upload onto the onto the YouTube? I'd be uh, open to suggestions there. I seen one the neighbor had just just a couple nights ago. The kid was flying it with his phone. They had it recorded, or had the had a little controller. He slipped over top of his phone and was flying this thing up overhead, and it really did a heck of a nice job. He had it clear way up in the air, recording, and I just thought, man, that'd be that'd be really pretty neat to set that up like that. Gets you guys an area view of what we're doing. That would be pretty sweet. So if you got any suggestions there, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see if we can't get an addition to our uh, to our views. See if we can't get a different angle. Let me know. Here's pass number three. What's that? What is that over there? Oh, don't worry. That's just somebody out here recording. <laughs> High school kid helping out a little bit. We're gaining. We're getting there. Well, this ain't a very big field, though. It's only like 12 acres, so it'll go pretty quick. Well, first field done. Didn't take any time at all. Markers folded right back up. Worked just like a charm every time. It may... Amazing what a few wires being flipped around could do. Right? Oh, jeez. Well, anyway, we'll get this thing folded up going to the next field. Okay, now I raise the hitch up. Flipper to fold, frame fold, markers off, and then we just fold her around. Give her a little help with the tractor. Come on, right creep ahead. Come on, there we go. There we go. Otherwise, it tries to push the center of the planter backwards. 
might as well just help it by pulling ahead. back down so we can latch it hold her on together lift the hips back up go up here and turn I think I think I don't know if the fold's gotta be on or not there this takes two hands I can hold this to wing wheel and then you lift up the wing tires I'll get that to sit there there you can kind of see it Okay. Now we turn all this stuff off. And yeah, that was off. Okay, now we're ready to go to the next field. camera guy <laughs> uh, anyway let's get out of here all right working on field number three and I just had the hopper monitor start flashing at me saying hopper there you can see it so we'll have to put one more bag in to get finished with this little field and he's waiting on me down over there So this will be 40, 41 acres done. I'm gonna get this one all finished up. Then we'll buzz over over the couple hills there and get 30 acres in over there. Then we'll have to make about a 35, 40 minute drive to do another 32 acres. And then we'll be all done with corn. Yeah! Just a little over 100 acres of corn, organic stuff this year. Now this is that goopy bottom, kind of like that one I was showing you before where I almost got stuck. The river has got out and it's ate a path right through there where that grass is. And so now it's really low and it holds water there just about year round. I mean like even in a drought it'll hold water there. It's ridiculous. And this being a little bit more normal year, she's holding water again. I did take my plow a few years ago right through here and I made several passes back and forth to lower that to kind of get it to drain and it did help quite a bit but it needs it needs to be done again or done some more and have and there's a bunch of dirt piles here I had a dozer come down and shove a lot of the the excess dirt out of the way so we could get it to drain and it helped but it's, it's not 
perfect by any means. Well, here's my bag of corn, so I'll get out here and put her in and get finished. All right, another one done. And that window's getting dirty. Holy moly. Now we'll go to the other farm and we'll fill up again and do another 30 acres. See how wet it is over there? My golly, I couldn't even get that corner right up there. I couldn't even get that stuff. Ah. The next one, guys, is a 30 acre piece where we were talking about the waterways and how to disc around them. Now this has been disc or field cultivated by the comedian. He's down doing the next farm. And it's really hard to see with the sun glaring on the dirty window, but it's just right dead center in front of me in the little mark. You can't see it. And it's painted a for me to see. Yeah, this one won't take too long either. Just 30 acres. It should take me about an hour and a half to get it planted, I think. I think that's about what we're doing. Still going. We're gaining. Now that I turned around, there you can see her. Just filled up before we started this one, so we shouldn't have to make any stops. And it was just uh, soil finished about mm, probably an hour and a half ago, so she hasn't dried down good yet. From from that, you can you know you can see the good black right in the mark where we're the surface is kind of dried down a little bit, but just underneath she's a little damp. So essentially we're putting her right in the moisture, just where we need her. Not sure what kind of music the local station's playing today, but it's not my kind of music. But whatever. It works. Now when I'm planting these waterways, it would be pretty silly for me to, to go up and down them. And it would be a little bit of a waste to lift up and set down because this side will be in the terrace when that one's just coming out there or the waterway, I mean, be it'll be in, the other one will be out. So I'll just leave it down and plant right through it. And I'm gonna have a bit of an overlap on this because this comes out around this terrace over here. So to help keep my middle of the field row straight, I'm just gonna go straight and have some overlap rows. I'll shut these middle ones off and she'll start beeping at me. That way I'm not wasting extra seed and I can have some straighter rows coming in the middle of the field. Now through the waterway, we'll turn these guys back on. There we go. Now she's quiet again. All right, it's getting close to dark. Just arrived at the last farm. There goes the comedian. He just finished up with this. He waited and we didn't want to meet on the road. That'd be bad. That would suck. Anyway, we're down to the last 30 acres. Let's see if we can't get her done without any problem. And get my marker down and ready. Well, the lights are on. We're almost done. Just got this little bit here. Wow, that's dirty window's really dirty. Just got a little bit here on the other side of me. Probably about four acres. Then we'll be all wrapped up and done. Look at that beautiful skyline over there, all orange and blue and purple. Anyway, for some reason, there's a party going on down here in the driveway. Got three pickups and a bunch of teenagers down here hanging out. Yeah. Well, I guess they could be doing worse, so I ain't gonna complain. Smile, wave. <laughs> well, there we are, all done. Well, the markers folded up out of the way, there we go. Now, just for fun, I'll show you what this thing looks like in the dark. And if I turn off my rear lights, look at that view. Those LEDs on there really shine. Really like those. Hey guys, you gotta get out of the way. Uh, 
Oh, there I go. Stand up here. You can see me better than in the cap. But that's it, guys. My organic corn's in. A little over 100 acres. Uh, tomorrow we're going to try to get some, some of that rye bale, or mowed at least. Not bale. Get that rye mowed so we can get it in there and get it disc. And some of that's got to go to soybeans yet. So hopefully everything goes well with that. But anyway, stay tuned guys. More videos coming up real quick. Subscribe. Hit the like button. If you got any questions, certainly hit me up in the comments. Catch you later.